Hey, you jumped on the How you doing, man? Good. Alrighty. What's up? Gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 My leg? I, yeah, I know. It's the small elephant in the room. I, uh, yeah, yeah, I tore it. I tore my ACL, uh, LCL wakeboarding. Yeah. At least it's kind of a cool story. <laughs> I was only doing it for like 10 minutes though before it happened, so. It's all gonna be fine. That's, yeah. I broke my arm snowboarding on the first run down the hill. Yeah, so that's, that's, least, it's always, like, yeah. I mean, it's better like stepping off a curve. Yes. You know, at least you have a kind of, you just kind of sound cool. Yeah, I pulled my back out like sneezing yeah. and shit. Before, exactly. So that's, yeah. You're good. Sneezing man. is dangerous. I always say, like, when you're driving and you sneeze, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. you, like, all of a sudden don't know what's gonna happen. There's like a second or two where, yeah. You lose complete control, control of your body. Yeah. It's I know. It's a wakeboard and that is, that's cool. Yeah. You got that going. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, what's the price for the most, like, from, I don't know if you've seen, like, just, like, the whole series. Yeah, okay. I have, yeah. What's the price of the most in terms of what you read on a script page seeing it you know, on the screen? You know, it's like, we do so much crazy shit in this show that on paper it's one thing, but then when you actually physically see it on the screen, it's kind of mind-blowing. I mean, the pilot episode, I'm definitely jerking off, and then you see it happen on the screen, and it's like... Oh, uh, Grandma! <laughs> Grandma's gonna see this. You know. So that's pretty, uh, yeah, shocking. Yeah. Can you tell your family not to watch specific parts or anything? Or there? I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the footage and re-edit it that's and smart. send like the grandma-approved version. Yeah. You know. Where get somebody to do? Yeah. Somebody will do that. Yeah, exactly. You, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll find somebody to help me. Yeah. Just tell somebody to get <laughs> exactly. Get yeah. Yeah. So just as a quick follow-up to that, mm -hmm. in terms of how certain characters are portrayed, mm -hmm. maybe your fellow cast members that you read it on page on the page, and is there anything that maybe was like a pleasant surprise? That for sure, yeah. I think it's it's always interesting. Yeah, exactly what you said. When you read a character on the page and then you see what an actor's interpretation is of it, like Wolf, for example, Derek's character, uh, it's written as kind of this like tough guy sort of thing. But then you see what he actually creates with it, and it's so much more interesting than what it was just on the page. And that was that was cool to see. Yeah. Later on in the season, you get to be a little Yeah. <laughs> He's forced into some scenarios where he kind of has to be. He doesn't do a very good job with it. Um, but you know what's cool about the stories is, is while we obviously you know play a lot with you know uh, a lot of the classic sci-fi and, and a hero's journey kind of tale, it's very much a, a new take on that. And and what ends up being Josh's I always hate talking in third person. You know, my character's name is Josh. What ends up being Josh's like strength is his empathy and his understanding and his intellect as opposed to the physicality. It's, yeah. But he, he does he does some cool shit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I always like doing stunts and things like that. Uh, I mean, Derek and Eliza are the ones that had like all the heavy lifting. But I gotta do some fun things. Yeah. I mean, yes and no. It was definitely I've never done it before, uh, and I was nervous that I had to be funny. But the truth is, like, it's just in the writing, and you just act it. And and uh, we had great writers, and, and they really got the character and, and the world. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about just the whole, the whole time period thing and mm -hmm. like to touch on that nostalgia yeah. like, and uh, I mean, the you know, just like, more which one was your favorite? You know? Yeah. It's really cool to do time travel stuff. I mean, you get to, like, you wake up, go to set, and you don't know exactly what area you're going to be in. Um, and, and jumping around with that was, was really fun. And also, too, just playing around with, like, the butterfly effect of it all and, and kind of, like, what you can do in the past can alter the reality that you know now. Um, so that was really fun to, to play around with. And for me, I really liked being in the 80s. It's definitely my least favorite decade, personally. Uh, it's not a big fan of the music or fashion. But, uh, like, actually being there and seeing that world come to life is fascinating. A lot of neon and pastels. Yeah, yeah. So that's a follow-up. Mm -hmm. You know, our site is age of nerd .com. What is something you nerd out about? Please, for us, with your I, ooh, let's see. I really nerd out about science stuff. 
Like I, I'm obsessed with watching documentaries about deep space travel and the cosmos and all those kinds of things. And I, I just dive in really deep. And I've been on like a huge doc. I don't even know like the last time I saw a real movie. I've been watching so many documentaries lately, and they're very much based in that. And World War II. I go crazy for World War II. I don't understand how the hell it happened. It blows my mind. Nazis. It's insane. So I'm like, anytime there's anything World War II oriented, I, I, I dive in. <laughs> what exactly drew you to this part? Um, you know, I did. I had a small role in uh, the Disaster Artist, and that's where I met Seth and uh, Evan Goldberg. And and they called me a few weeks after that, and they kind of pitched the rough idea of the show, like you're a janitor and you're gonna like save the world and shit. And I was like, all right. And they sent me the pilot, and it was just super original and something I'd never done before. I wasn't even like thinking like, oh, I want to do a TV show now. Like, it just kind of. Life sort of just made its way to this, and, and yeah, the script was just really original, and I was excited to do something different. Yeah, yeah. This is, it's definitely not based on anything else, it's very different. Um, can you talk about how they weave that together with all the, you know, and Yeah, it's, yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we definitely use a lot of, like, heavy sci-fi references, and we use a lot of those tropes um, from those kinds of films and whatnot, but what's cool about it is it's done in a very different way. It's oh, I can't give, I can't give stuff away. I was I, I was like think about like can I say this or not? It's just it's really like Seth and Evan and our creators and, and showrunners their take on that world is is very original and very funny and raunchy and uh, it's just a very high energy show. It's exhausting. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I was just gonna say for you know since it's not based on anything, how do you sell this to people who have never you know? Yeah, I mean, I think that in my mind, I just say Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, time travel, action comedy. We have to stop the cure for herpes to save the world. And then the people are like, all right, I don't know what that means, but cool, I'll check it out. Yeah. So the herpes. Oh, you're good. You said the herpes. It, again, I can't give too much away, but herpes is a very central point in much of the story. It's absolutely nuts. It's the gift that keeps on giving, yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Gossip. I'm going to have to grab it.